Malloy from Dutson School of Trucking, and I'm going to go through some basics of double clutching. Okay, initially what a double clutch is, is the first time I tap the clutch, the transmission goes into neutral. The second time I tap the clutch, I slide it into gear. It's basically a one-two tempo on the upshift. One is neutral, two is the gear. One is neutral, two is the gear. If you maintain your shifting range and just maintain that little bit of time and timing and rhythm, double clutching is not hard at all. I'm going to get in and show you guys a basic drill. I'm going to double clutch the tractor around the yard without giving it any throttle at all. I'm going to neutral shift it. All I'm really concerned with here is the coordination between my shifting left leg and my right arm as I move the transmission from neutral into the gear. Okay, it's a standard 10-speed transmission. All I'm going to do is idle shift this tractor in the yard. I'm not going to give it any throttle. My main concern here is the coordination between my shifting leg and my shifting arm. So we're in first gear. I'm not going to give it any throttle at all. I'm just going to release my clutch. Now when I depress the clutch, I'm not going to depress it basically any farther than even with the brake pedal. First tap of the clutch is neutral, second tap is your gear. So the upshift is a 1-2 tempo. One is neutral, two is gear. One is neutral, two is the gear. One is neutral, two is the gear. Neutral, gear. Back to first, I'm going to shift to second. One, two, neutral gear. Second to third, neutral gear. Third to four, neutral gear. Four to five, neutral gear. I'll just repeat the process all the way back to one. I'm going to bring it up to speed within the shifting range on the upshift. All I'm going to do is maintain the same tempo, neutral gear. Key to double clutching is once the vehicle's moving, you do not depress the clutch all the way down to the floor. There's a clutch brake. Once the clutch brake closes, all it's going to do is grind on you. So the throw on the clutch is literally an inch, maybe two inches, no deeper than about even with your brake pedal. That's the key to double clutching. We'll let it slow way down. I'm going to idle shift it again. Neutral here. One. One is neutral, two is the gear. One is neutral, two is the gear. Bring it up to speed, do it one more time. One, two, neutral gear. One, two, neutral gear. One, two, neutral gear. That's double clutch up shifting. That's all there is to it. Just maintaining an RPM range once it's up to speed and a little bit of rhythm and timing. First tap of the clutch is neutral, second tap is the gear. It's as simple as that. One more time. Neutral gear. Neutral gear.
Okay, that's double clutching 101. That's all it is. All it takes is a little practice, patience, and a little rhythm and timing.